yeah, the two steps in the shop. Is that thing any good? Uh, short answer, yes. Long answer, uh, not really. So it's very, very cool to use a weapon that I've not used before. And that is rare for me because I've tried out a lot of weapons in the game. But the two step is a weapon that I genuinely forgot existed. This is just like that rat rod shotgun that was kind of released at a time where I wasn't really playing the game a ton. And I wasn't making videos on these weapons, so I never really gave it any thought. But I was surprised to learn that it's actually pretty decent. So the way the two-step works is every single time you pull the trigger, it fires two bullets, and that's kind of it. You have 16 shots in the magazine, and it has a drum, which is very, very important, because the way the shotguns work is if you reload shell by shell, then it's usually just about the exact same reload speed to use mag size instead of an actual reload perk, because... I'm not going to get too far into it, but that's the way it works out. I've explained this more in my Huskbuster video. I'll link that in the description below. But uh, on this weapon, it's interesting because you reload all of your bullets at once. So spoiler alert, we're going to be using reload on this. And uh, uh, for this situation, we opted for crit rating and crit damage. And that's just because it's a very standard build and it's a good way for us to gauge whether or not this weapon is good. And the reason I went for that is because it has a pretty decent fire rate at about three shots per second. And because every single time you pull the trigger, you're shooting twice. And so every two shots, you'll have, you know, four shots going out. Quick maths. And if you calculate the amount of times that you should crit on average you should crit at least once every two times you fire this weapon so i figured it was consistent enough to trust crit rating on this and in my experience i was completely satisfied so because you're firing twice this weapon is uh really really interesting to use it has really good accuracy decent range and it was very very effective against even the bigger enemies its fire rate isn't exceptional there are weapons like the ground pounder that would just absolutely blow through some of these bigger enemies and maybe the tiger jaw shoots a little bit more consistently because you're not waiting for that two round burst but I'm not saying this is the best shotgun in the game. This is the long answer. So I do think it's good. I think it's something you should use, and I think it's something you should try out. It's definitely different from the normal, and it's different from the meta, quote-unquote, meaning this isn't the best weapon in the game, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't use it. It's something different, and it's cool. It's really, really good for crowd clearing. It actually affects a lot of the baby zombies really well, because even if it doesn't crit, the normal zombies, you know, husky husks and below, I guess, are basically going to die from a single burst. Even if you don't crit, they're going to die pretty comfortably. And then the fatties usually die in between two and four burst depending on how lucky you are with your crits uh, whether or not they're affected by a healing hoe whether or not you're gonna hit headshots uh, there's kind of a lot that goes into that but almost every single time they died with a maximum of like three or four bursts and I thought that was a pretty comfortable rate as for the smashers I killed about three of them in the time that I was running around solo they took about an entire magazine and then some change so it wasn't the fastest thing ever uh, but with a war cry and some coconuts it's not bad it's not bad because of the way that this weapon works you can kind of just double tap a smasher here and there and then just sort of get off to the side and get yourself safe and if you maneuver around a smasher you're gonna kill it just fine and I found that using this in a 144 player with some of my friends wasn't really holding me back and I think that this might be a viable option for the late game that means it's gonna be great in all of the other zones and it might be something worth leveling up if you're a low level so if you're going to be leveling this thing up how should you perk it and that's where we're gonna get into that right now so I'm not gonna increase my rarity because I was very fortunate to have Ben's drop me a copy of this so I could show you guys the gameplay for this I already talked about reload speed and why you want to do it over damage um the reload time is actually pretty good two and a half seconds is kind of a long time for a shotgun but it's not an insanely fast firing weapon so there's quite a lot of balance there if you really want to maximize your per bullet damage you could go for a damage perk here but personally i think reload is going to make this a much smoother experience and a lot more comfortable to use uh, that's going to be an option there you want more damage or a better reload time because of course if you're going for the long run you will output more damage in the long run if you have that reload perk on there just because it's going to make up for the damage loss but there's kind of a choice there depending on how you want to go for it. I don't think mag size is necessary at all because it's kind of just delaying the inevitable. Uh, you don't really need more bullets. As I showed earlier, maybe it'd be nice to kill a smasher before having to reload, but I don't think that you're going to need a mag size for this. But if you found that your play style suits it better, then you can, of course, do whatever you want. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes. Obviously, the element, you're going to want it to be energy. That's just going to be the best all around. I'll link my video on elements below if you want to figure that out. As I'm recording this, nature is very common, so fire might be best in the immediate moment. This might be true in the future if they ever mess around with missions again, but that's just because of what's happening right now normally i would always recommend energy and then you want this bottom fifth perk to match the sixth perk I've only seen slowed and snared and affliction on this weapon, so if there are other options, you might want to consider damage to mist monsters, just because those are the biggest enemies that are going to give you the most trouble, and stun and staggered enemies might be pretty common because the impact on this was fairly impressive, but if you have slowed and snared or affliction, you're going to want to match that to the six perk as per usual, and this is going to be kind of the same thing I've mentioned in a ton of my videos a million times over, and that is that fire rate and damage is a really good way to go for shotguns. We ran crit rating crit damage, that was perfectly fine. If you want to do double crit damage and run this with like a totally rocking out build you can absolutely do that i'm not going to recommend that but you can totally do that if that's the way you like to play but i think fire and damage might be
might be the smoothest way to go and I might do that for myself because it kind of trades a lot of per bullet damage for more bullets getting outputted faster and fire rate would sort of minimize that downtime in between your two round bursts so it might feel a little bit more like a fully auto shotgun but all in all I think critical damage is the highest DPS if I remember correctly and it'll probably be the best bang for your buck quite literally and of course there are options there so if you want to go double damage that would be probably less damage overall than my other options but it would be nice consistent damage and you wouldn't be relying on crits but that just about sums up the two-step i was really impressed with this weapon it's one of those weapons that's so rarely spoken of that you just kind of assume it's bad because nobody ever brought it to light but when in practice it's actually quite usable and it was a fun little treat to use something out of the norm and for that reason i might actually be leveling up my own copy of this so stay tuned for my streams if you want to potentially see some gameplay of that thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to Ben's for dropping me a copy of this. If you guys liked the video, like it, dislike if you disliked it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, have a nice day. <laughs>